Hello everyone, today we're gonna to make a waterfall chart. And I think it's really important to make a waterfall chart because when you're doing variance analysis of corporations, if you're trying to do this outside of Excel and say a tool like pa Tableau or Power BI, you're really gonna to have to give some thought to it. Now this is a very popular type of chart that we do, and particularly for financial planning analysis where we put in planning and budgeting systems for controllership. Everybody wants to see everything in a waterfall chart because they want to be able to visualize what the change is. But you'll like everything in the world of visualizations, in the world of analytics, it's all about the data. And make no mistake, the data drives everything. So, you know, the chart is just a capability, but the data is what drives it. So if you think about this for a second, you know, just pause for a moment, what's going on? And you know, if we look at, let's say we're analyzing my vacation expenses and I want to see what's going on with my vacation expenses. And the way it started off the prior quarter, you know, I had spent, say, through the first half of the year, $5,000, you know, in, big, in vacation expenses. I took a big vacation before, right before COVID hit, I took a big vacation. However, you know, after COVID, in the next quarter, not so much, right? I did have to take a couple of trips because we weren't really sure. I had to do some things I didn't really want to do, but I was forced to do it. But in reality, I had this. So you can see with the data, I had vacation expenses, expense types basically. The prior quarter, I just basically summed them from the previous quarter to make it simple. Then I had airfare, hotel, Uber, event tickets. Because sometimes when I go out to places, what I'll do is I'll do some kind of an event when I'll go there. And a lot of this happened to be you know, the consultant reimbursable for me. But, you know, at the same time, this vacation expenses implies it's personal. So in this case, it's all about my personal expenses. Now, if you're a corporation, you know, you can imagine you have many people doing things. So you want to create categories of expenses. So I bucket everything into airfare. Now, remember, these could be in thousands. It could be a million dollars in airfare. And it could be $500,000 in hotels. It doesn't really matter, but you want to create categories. You don't want to be sitting there with 50,000 rows of data because then your waterfall chart kind of loses it. You want to have nice groupings of accounts. That's really important. This is a good finance and accounting structure. And the fact that we're doing a visualization tool is even better. So let's go, now that I show you the data, let's go in to Tableau. So in Tableau, I uploaded the sheet. It's in here, it's called waterfall. Remember, we were in Excel and it was waterfall sheet. And it had two dimensions, vacation expenses and amount. So what we have to do is throw throw up the vacation expenses into the columns, throw the amount into the rows in that regard, and voila, we get the chart that shows what's going on. The second part of this is to switch it to a running total. Uh, let's see. Wait. Quick table calculation, running total. <laughs> okay, and you can see things are adding up. The other thing is to switch this to a, a Gantt chart. You do that from here, because if you try to do it from the show me phase, it's, it's kind of grayed out, so it doesn't really know. So you have to override it and put it over here from the Gantt chart. So now you got the Gantt chart. So now the challenge is, just like your resume assignment, you have a Gantt chart, but you have no def. So let's take a mount inside a size and now we have a Gantt chart going on. The other thing is, you know, it's really not, it just, we sorted everything. So I got to sort these, sort these things in a sort of in the proper way. I want everything to go from left to right. Like we did everything before we always talked about it. Everybody wants to see everything left to right. So let's put the prior quarter out here. And then that's cool. But that's kind of odd, right? Do you notice how the prior quarter starts going way up? That's kind of really not what we want, right? We want it to be the other way where we're filling in the space. It's called, this is kind of visual analytics. So you want things to show in the inverse on how we do it. You want to show like the full color and then how you're gradually making your way to the top. So what we need to do is create a calculated formula, create a calculated field, and we're going to call it negative amount. Any way we do that, if we take amount, just drag it in. And once the mount's dragged in, that way you don't have to type it and then put a negative sign in front. And voila, the calculation is valid to say, okay. Now the negative mount's here, let's drag it into size. And look, we already have the construct for travel expenses, right? So we can save this. 
the thing is to not overthink some of these things. But I still don't like it because I don't see the grand total. So let's go analysis, totals, show grand total. I think it was row, and there's a grand total. So now we have a C from each one of the, where we were prior quarter, all the expenses I had all year, which are bigger, which are less. You can see the net change in everything from time to time. And if you like, you could put, well, we don't really have many fields here, but color coding on them to make it a little bit nicer. But really, this is great because now if you're looking at something, it's visually you tell it right away. It's like, oh my goodness, we spent a ton on air for airfare and a ton on meals. In fact, we spent almost as much on meals as we did airfare. So wherever we went, we spent an awful lot of money eating. So that was really cool and save it. Um, I think this is a good example of a waterfall chart. It's meaningful, one that's used in finance all the time. The good part about this is when you put it on server, you get on somebody's phone, they can see their expenses right away. I guess suppose you can put a dual, you can put a budget calendar out here and add a separate access. You can put the budget and you can see where you are to budget. You're like certainly I didn't expect to be spending this money, but I had to do a trip I didn't really want to do in the age of COVID. I was forced to, but long story short, I can analyze exactly how my travel expenses went. I hope that that was helpful.